Hello Rail fans and welcome back to another video here on the Rusty Boxcar channel. Today is Thursday, August 25th. I uh, had planned to take it easy today. Um, it's coming up to the end of the vacation here and had decided to just stay at home all day after making a trip to Louisville yesterday, which we'll put some footage up of later in the week. I uh, got a Facebook notification from my good friend Chris Kaufman uh, on the Nashville uh, rail fanning page that a train had derailed uh, on the north end of Radnor Yard, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 440. So headed down there as quick as we could, threw up the drone. Here we are at uh, actually parked uh, kind of in the middle of North Radnor, put the drone up in the air, uh, got some footage here of all the RJ Corman and CSX trucks working. Uh, the drone's leaving the confines of the yard now. Um, and as you can see up there in the distance, uh, on the other side of 440, uh, you see all those auto racks that are kind of twisted about. Um, so we're going to be, I, th I think, if I remember right, the drone is going to come up just to 440. And then we're going to use the zoom functionality of it. Uh, to zoom in a little bit uh, later in the video we are going to go around and park on that street you see right there to the right or to the left and uh, get some much closer views of uh, one of the cars being re-racked um, or retract I guess in this case so it looks like this train was headed up the b-line uh, was going to cross Elm Hill was going to go across the Cumberland River and make its way north and just kind of appears that maybe there was a malfunction at the switch and those rear couple cars and that third one there that's on its side uh, started headed up the A2 line uh, which takes you towards Kane. Throw a quick map in here so you can kind of see the area we're looking at. It had just crossed over that A1 line that connects with the Chattanooga subdivision. Was headed up that B line straight up and then uh, blocked off the A2 line as well. So. Uh, from this point, from North Radnor, uh, the only place to go would be to head out the A1 line towards Chattanooga. Um, there are other ways up to Kane Avenue from Radnor, um, but not out of North Radnor. So, uh, kind of blocked things up. As you can see here, we've got to look back towards the yard. Um, and then this is from the other side of 440, uh, that street off of Glen Rose, where we got a little bit better visibility again we'll zoom in here you can see that the back couple cars definitely look like they tried to go up the a2 line that car's trucks are right off that line uh, and then you can see the rest of the train was clearly headed up the b uh, so we're gonna move north here a little bit get to the other end and kind of backtrack back looking at the cars that are still uh, either on the ground or being retracked uh, they pulled the rest of the train uh, somewhere to the north, uh, not exactly sure where they took that uh, by the time we got there, but here we are right overhead. Uh, we're going to get to see this uh, BNSF auto rack get retracked. Uh, not sure if these are empties or full. Uh, sure hope for the benefit of everybody involved they're empties, uh, but not 100% sure. Um, it's hard to realize when flying the drone just how close they are to getting things re-racked and put back up. Uh, but as I sat here kind of looking at the phone screen, uh, could finally tell what they were doing. Uh, so decided to hover here and then shift around a bit uh, to see this process at work. This is actually the second or third time we've been able to catch a view of Corman doing this work. They're uh, really, really good at what they do. Uh, they use these sidewinders, they're called, to lift up both sides of the train, uh, get it back over the racks, and uh, slide the trucks under it uh, if needed, uh, which it looks like in this case they've already got the trucks laid on the rack, or the track, and uh, as soon as everything gets centered up, they're going to get those pushed back under the train. So, um, looks like they're pretty close to getting everything back up and going. Uh, certainly they'll have to get that other car up on tracks and then uh, just will remain to be seen if there's any damage to anything at all. When this happened on the north side of Nashville, um, sometime early in 2021, I believe it was, 
Uh, those videos are on the channel. When that happened, they had to do quite a bit of work replacing rails, replacing the switch. So pretty similar looking accident. Uh, he'd crossed over a switch and uh, the cars just didn't all go the same way up the tracks. And so uh, Corman had come out at that point and replaced a lot of the track uh, with some temporary uh, pre-built track components. I didn't see any trucks in the area with those. Uh, so I'm not sure if they were able to assess that these tracks are okay. Um, it was pretty quick in the process on the north side derailment when those came in. So would guess that by this point they already realized that they weren't going to need those. So we're going to back out here and uh, take the drone back to our location, which is again off that side street just west of here. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again to Chris for giving us that heads up. Glad we were able to catch a piece of it, and uh, glad we were able to bring it to you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the thumbs up below to give us a like. Also, please click on the Rusty Boxcar logo on the right side of the screen to get a subscription to the channel. And send us a comment. Really enjoy reading all your comments, and I try to respond to each one of them. Thanks, and have a nice day.